In this example, we're going to not only take a couple of partial derivatives, but also actually interpret those partial derivatives. So what we're going to do is find equations for the tangent lines in the xz trace and the yz trace for the following function. That's f of xy is equal to x squared y plus y cubed at the point 1, 2. Now, if we are going to find uh, equations of tangent lines, we're also going to know, uh, we're going to need to know what point we're talking about here. So first and foremost, I'm going to evaluate the function at the point 1, 2. It'll be 1 squared times 2 plus 2 cubed for 10. So actually, let's go ahead and make sure that we have that going on. When we're finding the equation of a line in three dimensions, it's necessary to have a point as well as a direction vector for these. So let's uh, go ahead and start working on those direction vectors. So first we'll take a partial derivative of f with respect to x. So partial derivative with respect to x of the function x squared y plus y cubed. So treating y as a constant through here, we'll differentiate the x squared. We'll get 2x times that constant y. And then the plus y cubed will become plus 0 due to the fact that y is currently being treated as a constant. Additionally, let's go ahead and plug in the given point so that we can figure out what the interpretation of this slope would be. So plugging in the ordered pair 1, 2 is going to give us a slope of 4. Now with that in mind, this direction vector that we have associated with this, and we'll use uh, v for direction vector with a subscript x to indicate that it's for the xz plane. A slope indicates a change in z for every one change in x. Now we were also holding y to be a constant, so the interpretation that we can give to this direction vector is for every one unit that x changes, z is going to change by four units. In the meantime, y is being held constant, so that would be 0. So in the xz trace, the equation of our line would be the following. We'll go with the uh, parametric form. This is going to be x is equal to, the x coordinate was 1, and the component of the vector is 1, so that'll be 1 plus 1t. y doesn't change, y is being held as a constant, so that'll be y equals 2 and z would be starting point 10 plus 4 times t. Again, that's component times t. So nice little um, callback to equations of lines in three dimensions. So we're going to do the same thing, but this time we are going to do it with the partial derivative with respect to a y and see what we can come up with. So heading back to the original function, x squared y plus y cubed, Differentiating with respect to y this time. So this will be the notation that we use for that. We will get, we have a constant times y. That would be the value of the constant and the derivative of y cubed. That'll be 3y squared. Plugging in the given point of 1, 2 to our new partial derivative. This will be 1 squared plus... 3 times 2 squared for a total of 13. We can interpret this direction vector as the following. We're holding x to be constant, so change in x would be 0. And for every one unit that y changes, z is changing by 13 units. That is the interpretation of slope. So within the yz trace, the equation of this tangent line is going to be the following. x is equal to this would be 1 plus 0t, indicating that we're holding x to be constant. y would be equal to 2 plus 1t. And z would be 10 plus 13t. So that is how we would be interpreting these partial derivatives in terms of slopes of tangent lines. Now, more generally, if we wanted to interpret these, the vectors that we have associated with these partial derivatives, <clears throat> more generally, the partial derivative, or the direction vector for the xz trace can be thought of as 1, 0, partial derivative of f with respect to x. And for the direction vector in the yz trace, that can be thought of as 0, 1, 
partial derivative of f with respect to y. So it does generalize pretty nicely, and you will see these vectors show up once again when we start talking about equations of tangent planes rather than tangent lines.